감사합니다. Thank you. 거지요 소경인 바디메오가 예수님이 지나가신다는 소리를 들었습니다. Bartimaeus was a beggar and he could not see, but he heard the news that Jesus was passing by. 안 보이기 때문에 어디쯤 지나가는지를 알 수가 없습니다. And because he was visually impaired, he couldn't tell exactly where Jesus was. 그래서 소리를 질른 겁니다. And that's why he shouts and cries out to him. 큰 소리로 다윗의 자손 예수여 나를 불쌍히 여기소서. And he says and shouts in a very loud voice, "Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me." 너무 고함지르니까 제자들이 시끄럽다고 말했어요. And he shouts out so loudly that the disciples come; they try to quiet him down. 예수님께서는 바디메 앞에 걸음을 멈추셨습니다. But Jesus stopped in his tracks before Bartimaeus. 뭐 해주기를 원하느냐? And he asks him, "What do you wish of me?" 속이니까 보기를 원합니다. And because Bartimaeus could not see, he said, "I want to see." 예수님께서 단 한마디 하셨습니다. And Jesus just spoke one word. 네 믿음대로 될지어다. He simply said, "It will happen just as you believed." 그 자리에서 눈이 열렸습니다. And at that instant, his eyes opened. 그리스도를 만난 자에게는 모든 과거 해결되고. And for all the people who meet with Christ, all of your past is resolved, and a new life begins for you. This answer must dwell with all of you as well as upon me. 이름도 밝히지 않은 혈루증 들린 여인이 예수님께서 옷자락을 잡은 겁니다. There was a woman with a bleeding disorder, and her name is not even recorded in the Bible, but she took hold of the garment, the outer garment of Jesus. 그때 이 여자는 치유함을 입었습니다. And at that very moment, this woman was healed. 아무 능력이 없는 베드로가 예수님을 만났습니다. The powerless, incompetent Peter met with Jesus. 나를 따라오너라. And Jesus said, "Come, follow me." 내가 너희로 사람 낳는 어부 되게 하겠다. And I will make you fishers of men. 그것으로 베드로 인생은 완전히 바뀌었습니다. And with that, Peter's entire life was transformed. 많이 배웠습니다만은 영적 문제 해결되지 않던 바울이 다메색으로 가다가 그리스도를 만난 겁니다. Paul was so well versed in all worldly affairs, and yet he did not know about the gospel. And yet on the way to Damascus, he finally meets with Jesus. 여러분에게 이 시간표가 필요합니다. This time schedule is needed for all of you. 저는 어릴 때부터 교회 다녔습니다만은 이 시간표가 없어서. Since I was very young, I attended church, but because this time schedule did not come upon me in my life, that's why I suffered needlessly. 이 그리스도를 만난 이후 저는 오직 이 복음 전해야 되겠다라고 시작을 한 겁니다. But after meeting with this Christ, I began my journey to only proclaim this gospel. 오늘 성탄절에 오늘 그 응답을 받아야 되겠습니다. Today on Christmas Day, we must receive that answer. 네 먼저 왜잘안 될까요? Then first, why is it that things don't work out for us? It's because we have so many needless concerns. And so you're walking down the street and there are people standing there and they're passing out evangelism tracts. And so I saw that and I actually took hold of that evangelism tract. I looked at the contents. It was not the gospel. It was just saying that December 25th is not Christmas Day. It was the day that the Roman Empire worshipped their sun god. And that's what they were passing out to the passersby. And so I asked that person. 그래서 어쨌단 말이냐? And so then, what's your point? 그게 대답을 못해. 그래서. And he couldn't respond to my question when I asked. So what? 로마가 복음화되면서 황제가 이제 우리는 그리스도가 우리의 주인이고 그리스도를 섬기는 날이다 바꿨는데 뭔가 잘못됐냐? And I said, when the entire Roman Empire was evangelized, the emperor himself declared that Christianity was now their uh, national religion, and they were saying, "Now we will worship Jesus Christ as our Lord." 그런 쓸데없는 에, 짓을 하고 있습니다. But we see that people are engaged in such needless, unnecessary activities even now. 그때 그 친구 보 이렇게 했습니다. I said this to that person at that time. 365일이 그리스도의 날이야. 
all 365 days of the year are the day of Christ. And there are also some people who are worried that this is a day that Jesus Christ came to the earth, but perhaps that has become too secularized, too commercialized. 아버지 생일에는 가족들이 잔치를 해요. On your father's birthday, the entire family comes together in celebration for that occasion. 고원님 생일에는 고리 잔치를 해요. And so when you have the leader of the chief of that one village uh, and it's that person's birthday, then all the villagers come together to celebrate that occasion. On the day of the birthday of the king, the entire kingdom comes together in celebration for that. The king of kings, Jesus Christ, came to the earth. The entire world then rises up in celebration for that. There's nothing wrong with that. 성탄절이니까 말해 모두 붙이고 장사 나쁠 거 없어요. Because it's Christmas Day, you have all of the festivities. Everything is put up, and everything is very colorful, and people are making sales with that. It's fine. 요즘은 길거리에 우리 어릴 때 듣던 성탄 캐롤이 사라졌어요. But these days, you walk down the street, and you don't see, and you don't hear any of the Christmas carols anymore. 그래서 나 원뜻은 가게에서도 털고 우리 믿는 사람이라도 길 듣도록 털고. And so my original intent was, let's make these Christmas carols so that we can restore that kind of culture, so that all the storefronts, all the stores and shops, and you can hear that on the street. You have that all turned on. 뭐 세상 것좀 많이 넣으려고 하다가 그래도 그 울면 안돼 산타고 그거 하나 넣어라 오늘 그래서. And so you know, I said, why don't we, we? I was thinking to myself, why don't we include a lot of these worldly songs, Christmas uh, songs? But instead, we just put in one, which was, um, "You better not cry." 내년에는 세상 것더 많이 넣고 우리 건 하나만 넣을 겁니다. And so next year, perhaps we can have a lot more of the world familiar and world famous Christmas songs, and just put a little bit of our songs inside of that album and track. 그랬더니 수십 분대에서 연락이 왔습니다. 왜 산타 크로스를 넣냐 이래가지고 연락이 왔어요. But when we made that Christmas album, dozens of places reached out to me and they were saying, "Why did you put in a song about Santa Claus?" 설명해드리겠습니다. And I'll explain that to you now. 17세기에 성 니콜라우스라고 하는 사람이 미국에 살았어요. In the 17th century, there was a person by the name of Saint Nicholas. 너무 이민자가 오는데 어려운 사람 많으니까 계속 선행을 베푸는 겁니다. And in the U.S., because there are so many immigrants coming into this new country, uh, he was trying to bestow good upon them and carry out charitable acts. 네덜란드 사람인데 잘 믿는 분이에요. He was actually a person from the Netherlands, but he was a very good believer. 이분 미국 이름이 산타 클로스입니다. His English name is Santa Claus. 계속 선행을 베풀었어. He continued to carry out these meritorious deeds. 이분 죽을 거네요. And there would come a time when he dies, right? 죽으니까 계속해서 우리도 성 니콜라우스 산타 크로스처럼 이 성탄절에 어려운 사람 도우자. And so after he passed away, people wanted to carry on with that tradition and that spirit of Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus, to carry out good works for those in need. 19세기 와서 이 성탄절은 세계 명절이 됐어요. And coming into the 19th century, now Christmas finally became a world holiday. 그래 전 세계에서 우리도 성 니콜라스처럼 선행하자 예수님 오신 날. And the entire world began to say, "Let's now carry on that tradition of Saint Nicholas, and let's celebrate the day of the coming of Jesus Christ to carry out good works and good deeds on that day." 어떨 때 이런 좋은 날 내가 산다 그그 니콜라스 돼서 우리 황 목사님 숨게 숨어 살게 도와줘. And so perhaps I can work like uh, Saint Nicholas and in, in hiding serve to benefit and, and support uh, Reverend Huang Sangbe, for example. 그게 산타 클로스입니다. That's Santa Claus. 잘못됐습니까? Is that bad? 쓸데없는 걱정들 하지 마세요. So don't concern yourself with these needless worries. 진짜 걱정을 해야 됩니다. You need to have the true 그렇죠. worries. 쓸데없는 걱정하는 사람도 진짜 걱정 안 하거든요. 그렇죠. People who are concerned with needless things, they don't engage in the worries that they ought to be worried about. 진짜 걱정이 뭡니까? What are the true worries? 왜 then? 하나님의 백성이 노예로 끌려갔습니까? Why is it that the people of God were enslaved? 여러분의 후대가 노예로 끌려가면 어떻게 하겠어요? What would happen if your posterity is dragged off the slaves? 왜 포로되갔습니까? Why were they taken captive? 이게 성경 얘기예요. And this is a record of the Bible. 왜 속국됐습니까? Why were they colonized? 무엇 때문에 후대들이 전 세계를 흩어져서 
맞아 죽었습니다. For what reason were all the p o s t e r i t y scattered throughout the nations of the world and beaten to death? 왜 지금 세계 교회는 문을 닫고 있습니까? Why is it that even now to this day churches of the world are closing their doors? 생존하려고 살아남지 못해 몸부림치고 있어요. They're struggling and wrestling just to merely make ends meet and survive. 교회 문 닫고 있어요. The churches are closing down. 진짜 걱정해야 돼. That is our genuine concern. 쓸데없는 걱정하지 뭐 진짜 걱정하셔야 돼. Don't worry about needless things. You must worry about the true and genuine concern. 왜 그런지 아십니까? Do you know why? 답은 간단합니다. The answer is simple. 항상 크리스마스가 안 됐기 때문입니다. Because we don't have always Christmas taking place. 물론 즐기도 지켜야 됩니다. Of course, we need to carry on with these rites and rituals. 항상 그리스도의 날이에요. But every day, always. 항상 is, 그리스도의 경배의 날. It is day of Christ, a day for us to worship and adore Christ. 항상 크리스마스가 될 이유가 뭡니까? What is the reason why we must have always Christmas? 흑암 세력 열두 가지는 항상 여러분을 공격하고 있습니다. Because the twelve forces of darkness they continue to attack you. 그리스도만 두려워하는 사단은 눈에 보이지 않게 여러분을 항상 공격하고 있습니다. Satan is only afraid of Jesus Christ, and that Satan continues and constantly tries to attack you. 여러분의 자녀를 공격하고 있습니다. He is constantly attacking your children. 여러분의 후손들 공격하고 있습니다. And all of your future generations are being attacked by that very Satan. 항상 크리스마 될 다섯 가지 이유. The five reasons why we must have always Christmas. 첫째입니다. First, 영원전 크리스마스를 알아야 됩니다. We must know Christmas from long ages past. 이때에 과거 해결됩니다. At that time, all of our past will be resolved. 안 그럼 여러분 과거 해결 안 돼요. Otherwise, your past will not be resolved. 굉장히 중요한 얘기죠. These words are very important. 바울이 이렇게 고백했습니다. This is what Paul confessed. 나의 복음과 이렇게 말씀하면서요 영세 전에 감추어졌다가 이랬습니다. He said, "My gospel," and he expresses it this way: "It was hidden for long ages past." 영세 전에 창세기 일장 이 절을 보면요 인간이 오기 전에 벌써 흑암 공허 혼돈 속에 이 지금 사단이요 타락해서 움직이고 있는 거요. Genesis 1:2 already records that prior to even the emergence of humankind, there was darkness and formlessness and emptiness in the world. There was great corruption already. 이 아담 이전에 존재하고 있다가 벌써 아담을 공격한 겁니다. This existed prior to Adam and then proceeded to attack Adam. 그게 창세기 3장이에요. And that is Genesis 3. 그래서 하나님은 바로 여자의 후손이 나타나서 저 사단의 권세를 깨뜨릴 것이다. And that's why straight away God promises that the offspring of the woman will come to crush the head of the serpent. 이거 붙잡아라. So hold fast to that. 이, 이게요 영세전 크리스마스입니다. This is a Christmas 그렇죠? of long ages past, is it not? 그래서 우리는 항상 크리스마스예요. And that's why for us it is always Christmas. 에베소 1장 3절 5절에 창세전의 너를 선택하여. Genesis 1:3-5, Ephesians 1:3-5 says that He chose us before the time of creation. 이 언약을 모르니까 노예 됐을 때 출애굽기 3장 18절에 피 제사 드리러 간다고 말해라. But because they did not know this, again God instructs them in Exodus 3:18 when they were still enslaved, go and tell Pharaoh that you will go and give a um, blood sacrifice. 이때 벌써 흑암 세력은 무너지기 시작한 겁니다. And already at that time the forces of darkness began to subside. 여러분 이거 알고 있어야 여러분의 모든 과거는 무너지는 겁니다. You need to know this in order for all of your past to be completely resolved. 요한복음 8장 56절에 예수님이 이렇게 말씀하셨어요. And in John 8:56 we see this is what Jesus says. 이스라엘이 제일 조, 존경하는 인물 누굽니까? 너희 조상 아브라함이 날 믿고 구원받았느니라. And who was the one that Israel uh, respected the most? They held Abraham in awe, and they, this is what Jesus said: "Your father Abraham rejoiced in me, and he looked towards me, and he believed." 알아들을 수 없죠. How could they understand? 네몇 살이냐 이랬잖아요. They instead asked Jesus, "How old are you?" 예수님 보고 네몇 살이냐. They asked Jesus and questioned him, saying, "How old are you?" 알아듣지를 못했죠. They did not understand his intent. 장세기 1장 27절에 
사람 만들 때 우리가 우리의 형상대로 사람을 만들자. In Genesis 1:27, it says that as God created humankind, He said, "In our image, in 뭡니까? our likeness." What is that? 내가 이래 될 거니요. 내가 said, 나의 형상 대상인데 우리가 우리의 형상대로 사람을 만들자. He should have used the singular pronoun. He should have said, "I in my image," but instead he says, "In our image, in our likeness." 성삼위 하나님은 그때부터 존재한 겁니다. We see that the triune God existed even then. 두 번째입니다. The second reason. 그분이 성육신해서 사람의 몸을 입고 오신 겁니다. 그래야 구원하니까요. And he came incarnate. He came in the form of man. Only then could he give us our deliverance and salvation. 삼일체로 계시는 하나님이신 예수께서 사람의 몸을 입고 있다고 오셨다. And God in three persons. We see that God came in the form of Jesus Christ in the form of man to give salvation to mankind. 그게 놀라우게도 예언되었어요. And astoundingly enough, that was, 어디서 태어날 것도 예언되었어요. That was prophesied in advance, and where he would be born was also 일이죠. prophesied. How amazing is that? 사람 머리로 이해할 수 없는 거요. You cannot comprehend that with the the mind of people. 그래서 인생 문제 해결이 안 되는 거요. And because we don't find that comprehensible, that's why. 그래서 our, 제일 잘 사는 나라 미국에 거지가 제일 많은 거요. That's why our life problems are not resolved, and that's why the very wealthy nation of the U.S. they have so many Many beggars living there. 이때 세상 문제가 해결되기 시작한 겁니다. It is at that moment that the problems of the world began to be addressed. 요한복음 1장 11절에 빛으로 오셨으나 세상이 알지 못했다. It says in John 1:11 that he came as a light, and yet the world did not recognize him. 그래서 요한복음 1장 14절에 말씀이 하나님이신데 말씀이 육신이 되어 이렇게 읽겠어요. And it says also in John 1:14 that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. 굉장히 중요한 얘기예요. These words are very important. 빌립보 2장 6절에는 그는 예수님은 하나님과 본체시나 자기를 낮추어 사람 몸을 입고 오셨다고 그랬어요. And we see also in Philippians 2:6 that Jesus Christ, though He Himself was God Himself, He did not uh, think He did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. 저 말구유에 태어날 거다. 그가 예언되었어요. The fact that he was born 일이죠. in a manger was also prophesied in it in advance. 장소까지 예언되었어요. The location was also prophesied. 베들레헴에서. In Bethlehem. 성경이 예언됐어요. It's prophesied in the Bible. 막을 말이 없어. 성경에 오래전 선인자가 예언된 거라니까. And so we see that for countless years through these prophets, this was prophesied in advance. 그 하나님이신 예수께서 오신 날이 성탄절이라 그 말이에요. And the day that Jesus, who is God, came to the earth is Christmas. 그날 육신을 입고 오신 것이지 이미 영세전에 계셔서 우리에게 메시지를 계속 주신 거예요. And of course, that day he came incarnate in the form of man to the earth. But even prior to that, he existed as God, and he continued to give to us his word. 왜 항상 크리스마스냐? Then why is it always Christmas? 세 번째 이유입니다. The third reason for that. 그 그리스도께서 내게 임하셔서 내게 임한 크리스마스. That Christ came upon me, and now it must be the Christmas that is mine and personalized. 세 가지 문제 해결해야 되기 때문에 주는 그리스도시요 살아계신 하나님의 아들이십니다. We need to solve three problems, and that's why Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. 굉장한 메시지. That is a tremendous message. 사단을 꺾은 그리스도시요. You are the Christ who broke and shattered the powers of Satan. 재앙을 막은 You are the Christ who blocked all disasters. And you are the Christ who opened up the path for us to receive our salvation. Now that has to come upon me. Simon said to Jonah, "Blessed are you." For you are Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. The gates of Hades will not overcome it. I gave you the keys, the kingdom of heaven. That is Christmas. The Christmas that has come upon me. 영접하는 자곧그 이름을 믿는 자들은 하나님의 자녀가 되는 권세를 주셨습니다. Yet to all who received and those who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. 내게 임해야 돼요. It has to come upon me. 그래야만 되는 겁니다. Only then will it work. 이때 어떻게 됩니까? And what happens at that time? 내 문제 해결되는 겁니다. My problems will be solved. 기도해 보세요. So pray about that. 너희가 하나님의 성전인 것과 하나님의 성령이 너희 안에 그 하는 줄 알지 못하느냐? Do you not know that you yourselves are the temple of God and that God's Spirit dwells in you? 
고린도전서 3장 16절이죠. That's 1 Corinthians 3:16. 여러분 놀랄 일이요 진짜로 귀신 들린 전쟁 찾아가 보세요. 여러분을 금방 알아봅니다. And this should take you by surprise. You go to a demon possessed sorcerer, and they'll recognize you right away. 그 귀신 안 들리고 점치는 그는 가짜고. 진짜 귀신 들리 가지고 보는 사람 있어요. 여러분 금방 알아요. Not the fakes that are not demon possessed, but the ones who really are filled with that evil spirit. The moment that they see you, they know who you are. 옛날에 제가 이슬 그랬더니 우리 딸이 고등학생 때 아빠 내가 점지 찾아갔는데 못 알아보던데 이런 거래. And long ago, I gave this sermon, and my daughter heard that message, and she said she went to a sorcerer, a fortune teller, and they didn't recognize her. 그 점지는 자가다 안 그래서. And I said to her, well, that fortune teller was a quack. 여러분 누군지 아십니까? 여러분 누군지 아십니까? They know who you are. 하나님의 성령이 너희 안에 그 안한 줄 알지 못하느냐? Do you know who you are? Do you not know that the Spirit of God dwells in you? 갈라데이 2장 20절. 나는 십자가에 죽고. It says in Galatians 2:20, I have been crucified with Christ. What does that mean? 멸망 받아야 되는 사단의 종이었던 나는 십자가에서 못 받고 그리스도께서 내 안에서 하신 것이라. I was a slave to Satan. I ought to have received the full extent of that destruction. Yet, yet I have been crucified with Christ. 이때 무슨 일이 벌어집니까? And what happens at that time? 고린도후서 5장 17절에 새로운 피조물. Second Corinthians 5:17, you are a new creation. 보라, 너희가 새 것이 되었다. 완전히 내가 변해지는 거요. Before, behold, you are completely new, a new creation. 이 기도를 여러분 시작하세요. 치유되는 시간이 올 겁니다. May you begin this prayer, and the time of healing will come upon you. 틀림없습니다. Absolutely. 네 번째입니다. 왜 항상 크리스마스냐? The fourth reason why we must have always Christmas. 후대에게 나타날 크리스마스입니다. This is a Christmas that will be unveiled and revealed to our next generation. 후대 문제 해결됩니다. 후대에게 우리는 반드시 이게 전달되어야 돼요. This is enough to solve the problems of our posterity. This must be relayed to them. 안타깝습니다. How how frustrating. 여러분 자녀에게 아무리 많은 것을 가르쳐도 영적 문제는 해결 못 합니다. No matter how many things you teach your children, you cannot solve their spiritual problems. 아무리 뭐 많은 스펙을 쌓아도 영적 문제 해결이 안 돼요. No matter how many qualifications they have, they will not be able to solve their spiritual problems. 오히려 더 어렵게 만들어요. Rather, that will drive them into greater hardship instead. 어떤 똑똑한 분이 내 방에 와서 고백했어요. A very smart person came in and came to meet with me in my office. 우리 부모님이 훌륭한 분들인데 얼마나 나를 긴장시키든지 자기 스무 몇살때 정신이 돌아. And he said that his parents were so renowned and they were very prestigious individuals, but they had so placed so much burden on him, and so he was always tired. And so much pressure on him, saying you need to study, you need to do this well, you need to get the grades, and they continue to pressure him. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. And so in his twenties, he lost his mind. 세 번째 읽는 데 역사가 난 거예요. 그래서 고백했어요. And the third time you read it, the works began to arise. 그리고 그 부모들도 어? 반대하다가 교회 가라고. And so even his parents, they saw the change in him, and they said they actually used to oppose him going to church, but now they began to prod him to go instead. 마태복음 27장 25절 예수님께서 나를 위해 울지 말고 네 자녀를 위해서 울으라. In Matthew 27:25, Jesus, don't cry, don't weep for me, weep for your children. 예수님 십자가지 올라가니까 여자들이 뭐 울었을 거 아니요, 막 우니까. Jesus was carrying the cross upon the hill, and we see that all the women were weeping on the side. He turned to them, and he said, "Or the words that he spoke to them." 우리 후대에게 항상 임하는 그리스도의 날이 필요한 거예요. And the day of Christ that is always dwelling upon our posterity needs to come upon them. 부활하셨어 말씀하셨어요. And after he resurrected, he said, "내 어린 양을 먹이라." Feed my lamb. 예수님이 말씀하셨어요. That's what Jesus said. 바울은 그리스도를 만난 이후에 가장 중요하게 보고 파고들한 데가 회당이에요. After Paul met with Christ, the very place that he continued to plow into, where he placed the greatest importance, was a synagogue. 항상 크리스마스. Always Christmas. 기억해야 됩니다. You need to remember that. 마지막 다섯 번째입니다. And finally, the fifth reason. 세세 무궁토록 있을 영원토록 있는 영원한 크리스마스. And it's for long ages past, for all eternity, it is that eternal Christmas. 왜 그런지 아십니까? Do you know why? 이게 배경이 되니까요. Because this becomes our background. 영원한 크리스마스는 나에게 배경이 되기 때문에 
어떤 일이 벌어집니까? That eternal Christmas becomes my back, and when that happens, what results? 성삼위 하나님으로부터 보좌에 주고 아홉 가지가 내 배경이 돼요. We see then that the nine blessings of the throne of the triune God become my very background. 굉장하죠. How amazing is that? 이때부터 올바른 교회, 올바른 이 산업, 올바른 빛이 이제 회복이 되기 시작하는 겁니다. And from this moment on, we have the restoration of the correct church, the true business, and the true economy of light. 반드시 회복이 돼. Absolutely, we must bring restoration of this. 항상 크리스마스 이후 다섯 가지 꼭 알아야 돼요. You must absolutely be aware of the five reasons why we must have always Christmas. 여러분의 가문 과거 없어지지 않습니다. 여러분에게 오게 돼 있어요. 후손에 가게 돼 그거 꺼내야 되는 겁니다. And so your family line, your past, does not completely get. It does not disappear on its own. It is bound to catch up to you, and it will be related to your posterity. You must resolve it. 세상은 발전하면 할수록 어려워집니다. And the more the world advances and develops, the more difficulty will come upon it. 그래서 그리스도께서 이 땅에 오신 겁니다. And that's why Jesus Christ came to the earth. 이 축복이 이 크리스마스가 그리스도의 날이 내게 임해야 돼요. This blessing, this day of Christ, this answer must come upon me. 조금만 기도 시작해도 됩니다. Just begin your prayers a little bit. 여러분 구원 받았기 때문에요. 이 기도 조금만 시작해도 분명히 역사. Because you are saved, just begin this prayer a little bit, and absolutely and surely the answers will come. 저는 이 비밀을 알기 전에 솔직한 말로 안 돼요, 뭐. And I'll be honest with you. 너무 어려워요. Before knowing this, 사는 자체가 어려워요. Living itself was a suffering. 이 기도 시작인 겁니다. But I began this prayer. 아무 도움 받을 필요 없어 이 기도 시작한 겁니다. There's no need for us to receive outside help. Just begin this prayer. 증인입니다. I'm a witness of that. 성경은 하나님의 말씀이요, 예수는 그리스도시요, 참된 구원자임의 증인입니다. I'm a witness of the fact that the Bible is the word of God. Jesus is the Christ, and Jesus Christ is the one and only true Savior. 그냥 거짓말하면 안 돼요. 아닌 것이 자꾸 거짓말하면. 솔직히 오늘 기도하면요 역사 나게 돼 있습니다. We cannot lie to ourselves. If we begin to pray today, absolutely the works will arise. 결론 세 가지입니다. There are three conclusions. 목자에게 나타나셨어요. He appeared 그렇죠? before the shepherd. 왜 그렇습니까? Why? 그때 당시에 정치 혈안이 돼 있는 그 사람들에게 나타나 본들. 알아듣지 못하고 세상 구원할 수가 없어요. At that time, there was a political frenzy. Even if the angels appeared before them, they would not have been able to comprehend this amazing message. 로마에 속국된 주제에 성공했다고 생각하는 바리새인들 그들에게 나타나서는 먹히질 않아요. They were completely colonized 그렇죠? under Rome, and yet the Pharisees thought to themselves that they had self-made success. If the angels appeared before them, nothing would have worked. 공부 많이 해서 자리 차지하는 줄 알, 알고 있는 율법 학자들에게는 먹히지 않는 소리란 말이에요. 목자에게 나타나신 거예요. The teachers of the law, they had educated, received such a great education, and they had achieved a prominent position. If the shepherd, if the angels appeared before them, they would not have been able to comprehend this word. 그때 과학자들이 전혀 모르는 주의 사자가 그렇습니다. And we see that that's why 몰라요, the angel of the Lord, scientists and scholars cannot understand these words, but the angel of the Lord came and appeared before the shepherds. 내가 너에게 큰 기쁨의 소식을 전하노라. And we see that uh, the, the angel says to the shepherds, "I share with you great news." 그때 예수님께서는 말 구유에 누워 계셔. And at that time, we see that Jesus was lying in a manger. 왜 그렇습니까? Why? 왕궁에서 태어나면 안 돼요. He could not have been born in a royal palace. 그러면 몇 명이 차지하지 구원자가 될수 없어요. Because if he were born in a royal palace, there 그렇죠. would only be a select few people who would have been able to come near him. 말구이에 태어나면 나는 예언된 거예요. He would not have been the savior of the world. That's why he was born in a manger. 그런데 13절에 보니까 천군 천사들이 찬양을 해요. And in verse 13 it says that the heavenly hosts were praising him. 하나님께는 영광이요. 땅에서는 기뻐하심을 입은 자들 중에 평화로다. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. 최고의 단어. The greatest word. 하나님께는 영광이요. 우리에게는 평안이에요. 평화. Glory to God and for us on earth peace. Peace. 기억해야 됩니다. You must remember. 절기 지키는 거하고 임마누엘하고는 다른 얘기예요. 
And celebrating 그렇죠. a specific occasion and Emmanuel or Jesus. 왜 항상 크리스마스입니까? 내게 임해 들어. Why do we have always Christmas? Because this needs to come upon me. 여러분이 조금만 그리스도 비밀자고 기도하면요, 성삼위 하나님의 비밀 여러분의 각인되게 돼 있어요. If you 그렇죠. just hold on to the mystery of Christ just a little bit and begin to pray, then the blessing of the Triune God begins to be imprinted upon you. 여러분 그 기도를 시작하기 시작하면요. 하늘 보좌 축복 아홉 가지가 각인되게 돼 있어요. And if you just begin this prayer a little bit, then the nine blessings of the throne begin to be imprinted upon you. 혼자서 무슨 생각합니까? 그게 중요합니다. What do you think about when you're by yourself? That's 혼자서 important. 많이 고민하는 사람은요, 그게 각인돼요. And those who are completely shrouded 그렇죠? by their own concerns, 그게 뿌리 내려요. That becomes their i m p r i n t e d n a t u r And that becomes their nature. 혼자서 날 염려하는 사람이 있어요. There are people who are worried all the time by themselves. 살 길이 없습니다. There's no way for them to live. 그리스도를 통해서 성삼위 하나님이 내게 가인. Through Christ, the Triune God needs to come upon me and become the Lord. 성삼위 하나님 통해서 아홉 가지 보좌에 그 누구도 빼앗는 능력이 임하게 되는 거예요. And through the Triune God, the nine blessings of the throne, a power that nobody can strip away from you will become yours. 그때부터 참된 교회, 참된 경제, 참된 신앙생활이 나오는 거예요. And from that moment on, we have the true church, the true economy, and the true walk of faith. 마지막 여러분 오늘 언약을 딱 잡으셔야 돼요. And finally, you must hold on to this covenant today. 이 메시지 붙잡고 여러분이 인생이 어떻게 돼야 됩니까? Now, as you hold on to this message, 본인이 알거 아닙니까? What must you do? I'm sure you know best. 찾아내야 돼요. You must find it. 나의 과거는 저주는 완전히 무너지고. 나는 하나님의 자녀 새 사람이 됐다. My past, all my curses have been completely destroyed, have been completely resolved. I am a child of God and I am a new creation. 나는 늘 질병 속에서 고민했는데 그게 사라지고 나는 하나님의 자녀가 된 능력의 축복을 받았다. And I used to grapple with all of my illnesses and sicknesses, but now I've become a child of God and now I'm a person of power. 나에게 크리스마스가 임했다 이 말이오. That Christmas has come upon me. 크리스마스 또또 모르는데 뭐 크리스마스 뭔 뜻입니까? What does the word Christmas mean? We don't even know the meaning of the word. Christmas. It is. It's a combination of the word Christo and Mas. Christo의 날, Christo 경배, 여러 가지 뜻이 있어요. There are several different connotations and meanings of this. 그게 내게 있는 겁니다. The day of Christ. Christo가 뭐죠? And Christ worship. 사단을 이긴 왕. That has come upon me, and what is Christ? The king that has destroyed Satan. 하나님께서 구원의 길을 인도한 참 선지자. And the priest that has blocked all disasters, and the prophet who has opened the way to the kingdom of God. That has truly come upon me. 그때부터 역사 시작되는 겁니다. From that moment on, the works will begin. 아무 걱정할 것 없어요. There's nothing for you to worry about at all. 그러고 난 뒤에 아 우리 교회가 많은 교회지. Then after that, you come to open your eyes to see what is our church here for. Corona 시대 오니까요, 거짓말 못해요. Corona 시대 오니까 교회가 못 모이잖아요, 그렇죠? And with the outbreak of the coronavirus, we saw right away that the churches could not gather anymore. 그러니까 온라인으로 예배. And that's why you had to give online worship. 온라인 예배하면요, 통계 다 나옵니다. And if you give online worship, we have all the numbers and statistics come out. 대한민국에서 한 주간 설교에 접촉하는 사람 10만 명 넘는 교회는 없어요. And there aren't any churches in the Republic of Korea where there's internet access of of 100,000 locations or more. 우리 교회 제 설교 몇명 들은 줄 아십니까? But do you know how many people access through the internet my sermon? 25만 명 들어요. 250,000 people a week. 지금 보통 뭐큰게 우리 다 조사하면 우리 비서들이 조사를 다 해보니까요, 뭐뭐천 명, 몇백 명 이렇게 나오겠죠. And so my secretaries had a full review of all this. They looked into this matter, and other places, hundreds, thousands of people accessed that sermon. 뭐 이렇게 오만가 막다 합쳐 가지고 한 구만 명 들어온 게 있더라고요. And there were some churches where they gathered all the different meetings and worships together, and about 90,000 locations accessed that. 오늘 메시지만 딱 듣는 사람이요, 25만 넘습니다. But for us, it's just the sermon. The message itself, 250,000 people accessed. 그러면 우리 교회가 무슨 교회인지 우리 교회는 5천 명밖에 안 되잖아요. 그럼 25만이 어디서 들어옵니까? 바깥에서 이렇게 많이 들어오는 거예요. Then you must catch on to those, those numbers very quickly. We only have 5,000 people in our congregation at our church. 250,000 people. Where are those people coming from? They're all outside. 세계 복음은 뭔지 아셔야 되는 거죠. You need to then recognize and realize what world evangelization means. 이 인생이요, 
딱 바뀌는 사람이에요. 이게 moment, 필요합니다. 안 그러면 내가 너무 어리게 계속 살다 가야 돼요. Otherwise, you'll continue to have suffering until the end of your life. 오늘 성탄절을 맞이하면서 새해를 맞이하면서요. 여러분이 이 기중한 결단하셔야 돼요. Today, as we commemorate 그렇죠? Christmas, as we begin the new year, you must make an important resolution to yourself. 저는 그렇게 기도했어요. This is how I prayed. 하나님 저는 목표가 없습니다. God, I have no goal. 저를 인도해 주십시오. Lead me. 저는 배경이 없습니다. God, I have no background. 저를 인도해 주십시오. So lead me. 저는 사실은 가진 게 없습니다. God, in fact, I have nothing in my possession. 아무 배경도 없습니다. I have no background to rely on. 오직 복음 전하도록 인도해 주십시오. Lead me so I proclaim only gospel. 진짜입니다. Really. 그러고 막 머릿속에 그것도 없어. Help me not use my cunning in my head. I just prayed. 저는 정말 이해할 수 없을 정도로 하나님 영접하시는 보면서요. 아 그래. 우리가 하나님 말씀만 붙잡으면 되는데 왜 그걸 안 붙잡지 사람들이? And I saw the unimaginable answers of God. I thought to myself, that's all we need to do. Hold on to the word. And why is the people do not hold on to God's word? 계속 속아요. 항상 크리스마스. We are constantly deceived, but for us, it is always Christmas. 일주일에도 역사를 할 겁니다. Just do this for a week and miracles will arise. 그러면 이 좋은 거를 평생 하는 거 완전히 하나님의 세계에 복음하게 돼 있는 겁니다, 이게. And if we enjoy this all life long then rightfully so we will carry out God's work of world evangelization. 올해를 보내고 내년에 귀중한 축복이 여러분에게 임하실 겁니다. As you send off this old year and ring in the new year a very precious answer will come upon you. 항상 크리스마스 되는 축복이 있기를 그리스도 이름으로 축복합니다. I bless you in the name of Christ that you may enjoy always Christmas. Let us pray. 감사를 드립니다. God, we thank you. 우리에게 그리스도 주신 하나님께 감사드립니다. We thank you, Lord, for giving us Christ. 하나님의 자녀로 부르심을 감사드립니다. We thank you for calling us as your children. 세계 복음할 만큼 하나님이 빛의 경제 허락해 주옵소서. Please grant to us the economy of light enough enough for us to do world evangelization. 항상 그리스도의 날이 임하게 해 주옵소서. And may the day of Christ always come upon us. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.